Hey, what's up, guys? It's Justin for Made Geek Gaming, Made Geek Base Boost, MadeGeek.net, and pretty much everything else, Made Geek. So, what I've done is I thought, hey, I gave them a tutorial in Audacity. Um, I figured I might as well give you a tutorial in Auditions. So, this is Adobe Audition, this is the Creative Cloud Suite. So, there is Creative Cloud. Cloud, CS6, CS5, most of the Adobe Audition versions are exactly the same as one another. Um, there's just added features and benefits with the Creative Cloud of having your stuff stored in Adobe's Creative Cloud. So what I've done is I picked the song by No Copyright Sounds and I'm going to show you how to bass boost that using Adobe Auditions. It's very simple. It's just two to three steps. All you do is you put your song in here by going to File, open and then adding the song from your library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the drop portion of the song. Let's go ahead and hear it without the bass boost applied. Okay, that is fairly loud. So what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and go to effects and start the bass boost. So you just go to effects, go all the way down to stereo imagery and then click on center channel extractor. Drop down the presets bar to click on boost center channel base. Once you click on that, you're gonna notice that over here on the right hand side, that center channel level and then side channel levels. This is the volume of the song itself, or the treble, or however you wanna call that. And this is the sound of the bass. We're gonna drop that down to zero, or zero point, you know, negative 0 0.1 and we're gonna go ahead and drop this down a little bit because if you don't they're gonna be extremely loud so then we can go ahead and press play there you go that portion of the song is now bass boosted um, we can apply this and we can hear the difference between the songs so this is without the, the, the boost applied and then this is with the boost applied. So what you can do, um, this is just a, a simple method that I've done to clarify the bass a little bit. I don't, I don't use it a lot. I use it a little bit here and there. I use the audacity for a lot of my bass boosts. Um, the reason being that you have, to me, you have more of a range of things that you can do to the actual track itself. Um, with Adobe Auditions, you're not not saying that you're limited, but I am saying that it is a lot more difficult for beginners to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little tip that you can do to clarify your bass a little bit. We're going to highlight the portion of the track that I boosted and hear it without the clarification. Okay, and now we'll hear it with the clarification. So what you do is you click on effects, you go down to filter and EQ, and then click on graphic equalizer 30 bands. Then you see in your presets, you have a default or you have all these other options that you can use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on bass and increase clarity. Don't mess with any of the bands and just press apply. Now you're gonna hear it with the clarification. Okay, that's it with clarification. Um, I've shown you how to bass boost and I showed you how to clear it up. If you guys have any other questions, just leave a comment and I'll get right to it. I like to reply to you guys. Sometimes I can't, other times I can. I get the updates on my phone, so it's here and there. Um, if you guys do have a question though, and I see it, I will reply to 